would be allowed to play God. Dr. Wendy Chang is the scientific director at the Southern California Reproductive Center. Welcome. Thank you so much. The FDA is far off from this, uh, right? And so mm -hmm. how, does, how does this work? Well, we prefer to call them three-person embryos. Three -person, and the okay. result of an advanced reproductive technique in which we create embryos possessing genetic information or DNA from three different sources, mm -hmm. not just the father's sperm and the mother's egg, mm -hmm. but also something called mitochondrial DNA coming from a healthy young egg donor. Why do we want to do it? Because healthy mitochondria are essential for survival. And if you think back to high school biology, you probably remember mitochondria produce over 90% of the energy cells need to divide and carry out their activities. We're looking at it now. It's like the Absolutely. powerhouse. Exactly. Right? They're like the batteries or powerhouse. Chem class. Yeah, good memory. <laughs> So what we know about mitochondria is that they contain a small amount of DNA that allows it to replicate and function. That DNA is extremely susceptible to mutations and it's exclusively inherited from the mother in such a way that mutations can accumulate and expand over a very short period of time and cause disease between just one healthy generation to the next. And you can see babies can be severely disabled, developmental delay, motor problems, neurological problems, mm -hmm. and that's really at the heart of this recent ruling by the House of Commons to try to help these families prevent another severely affected baby. I mean, as a, if I have this DNA, right, mm -hmm. this mitochondrial disease in mm -hmm. my DNA and I want to be a mother, this would be a miracle, right? To well, be able to yes. have a baby that's my own baby that wouldn't, I wouldn't pass on exactly. the disease. Exactly, because the actual nuclear genetic material, the stuff that determines how a baby looks, intelligence, hair color, eye color, that would still come from the parents. The mitochondrial DNA have only a very few genes that just allow the baby's cells to get the energy it needs to sustain daily activity and life. Do doctors and scientists really know enough, though? I mean, this is sort of... Mm -hmm. We're pioneering research here, mm -hmm. so you're you're taking it out. You don't. You're putting something in. Mm -hmm. Way down the line, could there be developmental problems well, or other there problems could that come be, up? Because this is really new territory, and as such, nobody can say there's no harm. Biologically, we think having healthy mitochondria should not cause any problems long term. Mm -hmm. Now, believe it or not, three-person embryos have been created here in the United States mm -hmm. in the late 90s and early 2000s. Oh. And there are actually a handful of three-person embryos that turned into healthy children now in their mm -hmm. teens. So I think their doctors are regarding their development with much interest. Wow. But a lot of ethical questions, of course. Absolutely. People are worried this is yet another slippery slope on the road to designer babies or eugenics, and that's not so. You're not going to get height, intelligence, anything from mitochondrial DNA, just energy. Okay. Dr. Wendy Chang, thank you so much.